Did anybody else ever confuse Almay for Avon and Avon for Almay or is that just me? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be reviewing a foundation. I was very, I didn't know if I was actually going to review this foundation. I was very hesitant. That's the word I was looking for. Very hesitant to review this foundation because I never really hear about this brand, especially not on YouTube, literally ever. But found this foundation a long time ago, BQ, before quarantine. And I was curious about it because it reminded me of a foundation I used to wear like years ago. And I mean like BA before autumn time. I miss that foundation. I can't remember the name of this foundation off the top of my head because my brain's not working right now because I'm on my period and all my blood is rushing to my lady parts instead of my brain parts, you know? <gasps> Women, I'm just kidding. Anyways, I uh, came across this foundation and I had this in my hand while I was at the store and kept going back and forth on if I should buy it or if I should review it or not. And even though I decided to buy it, literally when I got back to my office, I put it away so far deep into my archives that I just found it right now. And I may I got this maybe three months ago, a while ago did I get this. Now I'm super curious to try it and I want to test it out because while Almay is not the most popular brand out there, it's out there, it's drugstore. and. And maybe some of you guys are curious, just like I'm actually very curious for this foundation. So I'm gonna go ahead and test this out. I also picked up the concealer to go with it. Although I have my concerns about this concealer, I might have to mix it with another, where did it go? It is the Almay Skin Perfecting Comfort Concealer. Also, by the way, this is the Almay Skin Perfecting Comfort Matte Foundation. Everything about that sounds good. However, I did use this concealer to clean up my brows today and prime for my eyeshadow. And I'm nervous. I, I didn't exactly love the way this concealer blended out. I don't know how we're gonna do with this guys. I almost want to use this on my skin first and then use the foundation after. Just the way I saw it blend out on my eyes, like I'm worried. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm just gonna go ahead and prime real quick. I'm gonna use the Happy Hydration Cream from e.l.f. and then I'm also going to prime with the Puff Puff Primer from e.l.f. Both of these products I super adore. They're really great products and they're elf, so they're really affordable. All of the things today are very affordable. Well, maybe not all of them. Puff Puff Primer. <laughs> yeah, you guys, I don't trust it very much. I am just gonna go ahead and apply the concealer now before foundation, which you can do. Scott Barnes taught us this. I'm just honestly afraid of how this is gonna work over another layer of something, you know what I mean? And I feel like because this is very moisturizing primers I worked with, it'll just work with it better and it'll help me blend it out better because honestly, I'm just afraid of it catching on the foundation, if that makes any sense. That is why we're doing that. And I'm gonna go ahead and blend it out with this little beauty thing. Pretty sure this is from ColourPop, if I'm not mistaken. Oof. Ooh. Ooh, I don't like this. Oh, I hate this. Mm hmm. Yeah, I don't like this at all. Oof. This is not blending out. I have never been so happy over a decision I've made in my life. Ever. Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is terrible. Oh, this is god off. Not cute at all. Oh, oh, this blended out to nothing. Oh, we love that. Oh, that's the best. That's my favorite. Yep, love that. Love that. And it's very cakey. Um, foundation? I am so nervous. I actually really wanted to look cute today. And I know I am gonna look cute because I am who I am, but still, like I, re like, I really wanted to look cute today. Okay, so again, I'm gonna go in with the foundation. I got mine in the shade 140 Cool Fair. One thing I do remember about this foundation is that the selection was not the best and I could not find a better skin tone to match me. Ooh, oh, I oh this dispense. <laughs> Terrible. Oh, what a great makeup day we're having, you guys. Drag queens don't even need this much foundation, sir. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm gonna go in with a brush at, at firsties, you guys. And I'm just gonna try to apply it. I, this is way too much. Even what I apply to my face is probably too much. We are having such a good makeup day. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Oh, this is terrible. This is so bad. <laughs> I love it. We love when we waste our money. We love it. I need, I need, I need a mirror. Oh, this is gross. Oh my 
my god, this is the worst foundation ever. And I got it on my moisturizer, on my happy hydrates, bitch. This is disgusting. I've never, oh my god, this foundation is terrible. Oh, this foundation is bad. Oh my lord, this is bad. Ooh. This feels disgusting. Disgusting. Oh my god. Yo, when I tell you that even the way that the foundation builds on top of the concealer is terrible and they were formulated for each other, I hate to slander a product so much, but goddamn. Who raised you? I want you guys to see like how much this foundation is catching and like emphasizing everything. The, it's disgusting is what it is. This, All of this, it's just bad. With a foundation, with a beauty sponge, oof. Oof, I don't even know why I'm still blending this out. Yo, this is terrible. I'm done. Usually, I would find a concealer, a cream, another something, and I would try and fix this whole situation. But you guys, honestly, I'm just done. I'm not gonna do this. This is terrible. I hate my makeup today. I'm wiping this off. There's not even a point in telling you guys how it's gonna wear because right off the bat, if your makeup doesn't look good once you put it on, even like a few minutes after, like, no, it's just not worth it. It is just not worth it in my opinion. And you don't need this. You don't need this in your life. So I'm gonna go and I'm going to cleanse my poor pores is what I'm gonna do. Cause no, biggest foundation fail ever. The, what a great learning day today was. This is going in the trash and we're good. I'm done.